Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Houston Rockets Daily. My name is Jackson. I post daily Rockets content. It is the start of September, which means NBA training camp is this month. And we have the NBA season starting next, next. I was going to say next year, next month, which is, you know, it was like a really long off season, but now all of a sudden it feels like it went by in the blink of an eye. So, we're going to be doing a little bit of a talk on Jalen Green. This is something uh, Ciro and I talk about on my daily live NBA show all the time. And I wanted to put it into video format because on my main channel, Will Upton, I'm currently preparing a very deep dive on the Houston Rockets. I might post it on this channel as well. I don't really know what I'm going to do on that. But here's my point. The Houston Rockets have found their franchise player in Jalen Green. And this is something that, you know, with the start of the season less than two months away, this is something I'm really trying to drive home with Houston Rocket fans because, you know, while this video is about Jalen Green, I want people to keep their expectations in check for Jabari Smith Jr. If we take a look at Jalen Green's first two seasons in the NBA after getting selected number two in, not this year, but last year's NBA draft, well, the percentages were about 36% from the field. It was an even worse 28% from downtown. He only scored 13 and a half points per game. And, you know, a lot of people were not Rocket fans, but a lot of people were saying, you know, did the Rockets make the wrong choice? Because Evan Mobley got going right away. Scotty Barnes got going right away. And it took Jalen Green some time to kind of fully come into his shoes. I'll get the first and second half stats right out of the gate because I feel like that is really the primary point I'm trying to drive home. And you have to keep in mind, man, this was just one year after James Harden left. Like, it's hard to put into words kind of the complete 360 or 180 or whatever the hell the mathematical word would be for this that the Rockets had to turn when James Harden demanded a trade at the start of the season just two years ago. They salvaged it. They traded for Kevin Porter Jr. for a bag of Lay's chips, which, as we all know, Lay's chips don't have much chips in the bag. And what did we get in return? We got a very, very talented young basketball player, and uh, we'll save that for a different day. But here's the first half. 43 games for Jalen Green, and I will keep, keep this in mind. I don't think that players who drop 30 in their third ever NBA game in any way, shape, or form will ever turn out to be a bust in the league. So at the very least, I think we have our ceiling, or sorry, we have our floor of Jalen Green as being a satisfactory starter in the NBA. That, that's what I think his just floor is. Ceiling, I really think we're looking at our franchise player. We'll talk about that in just a second, but in 43 games... Jalen Green shot just 39% from the field, a brutal 31% from downtown, only 14.6 points per game, which in its own regard really isn't that bad. I guess just with expectations coming post hard in year, it, it was just not ideal. It wasn't great, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't perfect. 14.6 points per game, he had 3.1 rebounds, 2.3 assists, um, nothing really there defensively speaking. So that was the first 43 games of the season. Well, let me refresh your memory in case anybody forgot. Jalen Green in his last game dropped over 40 against the Atlanta Hawks. All right, And while my mind is there, that third game where he dropped 30 points, that was against the uh, team that made it to the NBA Finals, the Boston Celtics. All right, Kind of reminds me of Jay, or KPJ dropping 50 on the soon-to-be champions Milwaukee Bucks two years ago. But second half of the season, from just scoring 14.5 points per game on 38%, 39% shooting, he bumps up that number to 48% from the field. All right, 24 games is the sample size we're using here. 48% from the field on 17 shots? You're shooting almost 50%? You're making almost half of your shots taking 17, 18 shots a night? That's impressive. Eight threes a game, 39% clip. That's efficiency. That's efficiency. 48 and 39, that's efficiency. Well, he got his points per game all the way up to 22.1. So from 14.6 to 22.1. And keep in mind, the Rockets decided to make some moves at the trade deadline. Specifically, 
Daniel Tice was traded, which opened up the floor for everybody. Now, like I said, Kevin Porter Jr. is a very talented player in his own regards. And we've talked, I've talked about him on this channel several times. Maybe I'll follow it up, follow this Jalen video up with a second half KPJ because he was like, KPJ was like 19, 5, and 6 on like 40% three point shooting, second half of the season. So the Houston Rockets backcourt in general is looking very good. But Jalen Green, 22 points, four rebounds, three assists. So he gets his points up over like eight points, essentially. Like doesn't double his shots, goes from 12 to 17. But we're looking at another an extra rebound a game in four, an extra assist the game in 3.2, getting closer to a steal game. And where Jalen really stepped up was the final month of the season. And I have his stats here and I do want to keep in mind, this was like the very end of the season. It was very clear that for Houston, for us, we wanted to lose all the basketball games, but we also wanted to see some enjoyment. We wanted to see some fun. We wanted to see some flash with this very young, intriguing Houston Rockets team that only got more intriguing with Jabari Smith Jr., Tari Easton, and Ty Ty Washington joining us. That last month in April, he did play about 38 and a half minutes a night, but dude, I'm telling you. He shot 50% from the field, 39% from downtown. He averaged 29 points a night. Yes, you heard that correct. 29 points a night, five rebounds, and three assists. So to me, the way I see it, we'll sum it up here. Jalen Green is the Houston Rockets. To me, he's our franchise player. I mean, you don't drop 29 points in a month just without skill without talent, without potential, without progress. Like Jalen Green, and we're not even talking about like the specifics in this video. He moved off ball a lot better. He play made for himself and for his teammates a lot better. He did a little bit of everything. He got some rebounds, he got you some assists. He improved drastically defensively from the first half to the second half of the season. But normal basketball players don't average 29 points in a month. It doesn't even matter how many games they played. It doesn't even matter what the team looks like. Normal players don't do that. So to me, Jalen Green is our franchise cornerstone, and that's why I'm trying to set limit or not limitations. That's definitely not the word I'm looking for. I'm trying to set expectations for Jabari Smith Jr. because there are a lot of things he needs to work on to develop into a just complete NBA star. He has great size. He has phenomenal shooting. And so next season, he'll probably average around 15 points a night. To me, he'll average probably 15 points and 7 rebounds for this upcoming season. And you know, while he was drafted early, I don't. that's not a bad rookie year in any way, shape, or form. From now on, we're building around Jalen Green. That's the way I see it. We're building around Jalen Green. Let me know what you guys think about JG4 down below in the comment section. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button for Daily Rockets content. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.